Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Alright, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless you. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being there and welcome to the End Time Truth Television. I want to use this opportunity to ask you, if you have not subscribed to my backup channel, The End is Nearer Television, kindly um, use the link that will be in the description area of this video and also pinned at the comment section. Please use it, visit that channel and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much and God bless you as you do so. Amen. So, welcome. Yesterday, J. Israel was pronounced dead. And um, there have been so many twists around it. And if you have not watched the video I did around that, I've done, you know, uh, videos about that. But uh, there are so many people who are still in doubt. Many are still thinking, could it be, could it not be? Is it true or not? I want to categorically assure you that J. Israel is alive. I spoke with somebody who have spoke, who have spoken with Jay, and um, it's confirmed Jay is alive. And uh, like I said, the last video I did a live uh, show I had yesterday surrounding that area was um, based on the one that announced the death of Jay Israel, Solomon Izanga Shoms, uh, a few hours after he did the announcements and um, played the voice note of the phone call he had, he recorded with uh, an alleged sister of J. Israel that asked for privacy uh, for the family at this uh, alleged trying moment for the family. Now, that seemed to have convinced everybody that J. Israel actually died. And, um, you know, whatever it was, I think he played into the hands. And uh, I understand that several blogs and the news uh, prints all this. Um, social media print uh, blogs, um, they started carrying the news as well, reporting that J. Israel is dead. Now, but I, apart from the person I spoke with, J. Israel himself has responded and he has promised to come live. Uh, there are other things I, I may not say, but let me just show you, first and foremost, J. Israel's current response. Um, this was posted on his uh, channel, and it reads, J. Israel official, God is love. And this, as at night, it was about 29 minutes ago. And uh, the note reads, as per the thousands of requests I have been getting from different people who love me from all over the world, I will be coming live soon to talk to all those who have been and continue to pray with me with a great understanding of what God has deposited within me for his people. I love God with all my heart and for the sake of God's people. Later, I will give an announcement of the live broadcast. God is love. We can play and make jokes about everything, but it is inhuman, stomach churning, now sittingly painful and repulsive to play around with someone's death. It shows what hatred coupled up with self-righteousness and ungodliness can do. There is no one in their right state of mind unless they are either satanic or carry a demonic agenda against the children of God. Who can do such? God is love. Now, the painful part of it is this. I read your RIP messages with so much, with so much pain in my heart. Wondering why on earth would I be killed when I'm still alive? The pain of having to take away my mom's phone because of the multiple calls she was getting from people she doesn't know saying I have died is a memory that cannot be undone. And you see, God is love. That is who he is. I love you all. Now, the truth is this, you know, except, except you are not, except you don't have a mother, except you don't have a heart. And I made mention of his mother and people around him, but most especially his mother, his mother, the pain she would have gone through, you know, if, well, I do not know the proximity, if they live together, if they stay together, because if it ever happened that the woman stays apart from J. Israel and suddenly, okay, well, since he said he took away her phone from her, that means that the, you know, the proximity is possibly that they are living close enough together. 
So, but then it is it is it is discomforting. It is actually disturbing, you know, because uh, that will send some kind of fear and panic into the old woman's heart, right? But then that is what it is. So this was what J. Israel wrote us at, you know, twenty nine minutes ago. Now we had this one here one day ago. Um, this may not have come from him, but that other one. I'm sure even if he didn't write it or he wrote it, Jay is was involved in that one. But reasons best known to me, um, Jay will actually come on live, but then depending on whenever he wants to come live. So he said, attention, all God is love. Let us continue praying for the man of God, Jay Israel Sr., whether the circulating news is true or false. Where is the love of God to all those rejoicing over the unconfirmed news? Where is the love of God to all those declaring calamity over the man of God, J. Israel, senior, that he would die in hospital? Where is the love of God? Let us please respect the privacy of the man of God and his family during these trying times. God is love. And that was the request that was also made of our brother, Solomon Izanga Chums, but actually he failed to grant that request now this one here was the one that um you know came out first and uh you know everyone you know even me i kind of uh knew i believed that jay did not write this one himself but as for the one i read to you first i want to believe jay wrote that dear friends colleagues acquaintances brethren in christ and brethren in the lord please debunk the false news circulating on social media platforms that the servant of God, J. Israel Sr., was hospitalized supposedly for malicious and unfounded fallacies aimed at disturbing the man of God from his long break from social media, praying and seeking the face of God and looking for answers for the human race. Despite recovering from anxiety, J. Israel Sr. is well and full of life, very positive and looking forward to the great year ahead, full of the manifestation of God's promises and his love. Because God is love, let us love one another and should love where needs where needs be as well. All need love to keep us hopeful for the future. Let us continue to pray. This should be to pray for the man of God, J. Israel Sr., for a great return to preach the love of God and his fullness thereof. Stay in the love of God. All right, so here, yeah, this... Uh, Jay's response, but the first one I read to you is the current one. Now, as I begin to round off, you know, the video, I just wanted to be positive that Jay Israel is alive. He's not dead, you know. Irrespective of whatever that has happened, Jay is loved by so many people. And like I said yesterday, and I have kept saying, oh, you know, um, we cannot wish away what Jay also has contributed uh, like I said yesterday, majority of the persons who are speaking now with their brains actually came to know the certainty of the falsehood and the deception that has been promoted so much in some of these occultic and wicked centers. How be it we know that those places cannot be emptied? And I understand that there are people who, you see, um, if we are Christians, we should be able to love. And when you love people, you actually, sometimes you make excuses for them. If you love somebody and that person makes mistake, you will know that something is behind this mistake. You know, but if, by saying this, we are not saying when somebody is wicked, you should cover his wickedness. No, that is not what we're saying. You know, and there is, it is of no use actually trampling on someone that is, that is already on the ground. If a person you know, staggered and staggered and has fallen. What else do you need from the person? He's already on the ground. You don't need to mash the person. Would you bury the person as, as well? He who is on the floor needs no fear of falling. Would the best thing you can do for the person is actually to lift the person up. All right? So that is it. The, 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 the truth is that me, I felt within my spirit that Jay has gone through some kind of emotional trauma and, um, some form of um, abandonment and loneliness and all that. And that may have contributed to the anxiety that was mentioned in the text that I read to you. And that probably could have led to some form of, uh, you know, high blood pressure. It is possible, you know, but then what I gathered, like I told you guys here, 
is that it wasn't as intense, as serious as it was reported to the point that he was declared dead yesterday. Thank God that he is alive. Thank you so much and God bless you. Please, let us love each other. If anybody has offended you, please forgive the person. Because without forgiveness, you cannot make it into the kingdom of God. I know there are several of you also who hate me. And God forbid, if tomorrow anybody hears bad news about me, so many of you will rejoice. And some of you will rejoice. And I, just as many people are troubled, many people are touched, many people have been anxious, waiting to know the truth about J. Israel. I know there are people who love me with all their heart. I know there are people who would feel touched. You know, so... We know this, but then if you're a Christian and that kind of deep-seating hatred is in your heart, you are not a Christian. You're not a Christian. It, even though you think I am talking against your, your papa, at least I'm not talking against you. Now, if you just go and find out, be patient enough to see, and more so what I am talking about your pastors and your prophets and your, your senior prophets, your supreme prophets, your gods, are not something I came and I, I planted a secret camera on them to extract from them. No, if I am doing that, then I am an agent of the devil. I'm only talking about what they themselves display in the open, what they themselves brought out to feed the, the multitude with, and I am part of that multitude. I am part of the crowd that they are trying to reach. And so when I find it and... I discovered that this one is poisonous. It is not a delicacy that one should consume. And because I love you and I don't want you to get poisoned, I make you to see that there is a poison. This, this chalice has been laced with poison. If you use it to drink, if you taste the meal that is in the food, it can kill. So that is basically what we're doing. We're not, we're not here to wish hunt. I cannot, it will be wickedness for me to begin to poke into the private lives of people. Now, like somebody who would make a video, stand on the pulpit, do certain things that are not right. Like, you know, the recent video we brought out of Hubert Angel challenging other prophets to come out for a contest. Where did you see that happen in the Bible? It is only the false prophets who wants recognition that will come out and begin to champion them, you know, I mean, display themselves, show themselves forth. Uh, would you now fault me when a, a priest, I'm going to do a video on that, a, you know, a sister who knows that priest has also sent me something. He has been defrocked. But then he's still parading himself as a priest. And he came and endorsed a native doctor. And we, we spoke about it. Now, is that why you should be angry? I may offend you with the truth. But they said that the conscience is an open wound. Only the truth can heal it. I hope that this ministers to you. Please, don't hate anybody. No matter what anybody has done to you, please forgive that person. For your sake, forgive the person. Not for the sake of the person, but for your sake. Because if you don't forgive the person, your heavenly father will not forgive you. We all offend God every day. We all offend God every day. And we ask him for mercy. You may not be a thief. You may not be a false prophet. You may not be living in adultery. But sometimes thoughts that are not right, desires that are not right, words that are not right, sometimes can come out of your mouth and out of your heart. Let the good Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, shalom.